We're covering the State House this evening, a $3.5 billion mistake. Now lawmakers here in South Carolina want to know how a major error in the state's financial report goes unnoticed for at least a decade. Fox County's Brooklyn Cromer gets to the bottom of this years long error. She's joining us live to tell us what this means for the state. Well, South Carolina's top accountant says the mistake led to reporting $3.5 billion more than the state actually had, and lawmakers demanding to know why they're just finding out about this budget blunder. For, during how many years was the state's cash position misstated? Roughly 10. 10 years. Roughly 10. Mm -hmm. Going back a decade. A Senate yeah, finance panel asking Comptroller General Richard Ekstrom yeah, some tough so questions about the $3.5 billion oversight. At, at what point did you know something was wrong? Was, was that last year, five years ago? Or what, what, when, when did folks start understanding? We knew, we knew something was wrong in April of this year when we finally documented where the problem was. Uh, prior to that, we had these differences we couldn't, couldn't easily explain or couldn't logically explain. But when did that occur? Was that in April or was that years ago when there are anomalies that couldn't be explained? Uh, the, the difference began mounting probably th three years earlier. The state's chief accountant says the state accounting system had been double counting money transferred to colleges and universities since at least 2012. The office first noticing the error during the pandemic. That's nine years after it started. Because of the infusion of COVID money that got passed out to colleges and universities. And it was only the transfers from colleges and universities that created this. Ekstrom telling That's the Senate subcommittee the state has not been spending money it does not have and it will not impact this year's state. budget, but could not say for sure if this would impact the state's credit rating. Do you anticipate this is going to be a problem moving forward as far as the state's credit rating? I'm not expecting it, but I wouldn't rule it out. Okay. I don't want to mislead you. Senate Finance Committee Chair Harvey Peeler from Cherokee County says senators will get to the bottom of this. Right now we want to know what happened, why it happened, and what we're doing to make sure it never happens again. Ekstrom says he first told Governor McMaster's staff about the mistake back in November. His office releasing this statement to Fox Carolina today, quote, the governor is confident that the issue has been identified and resolved. Members of the General Assembly have indicated that they plan on taking a close look at the situation, which will help ensure it won't happen again. Meanwhile, the Finance Subcommittee is asking Ekstrom to prepare a report because they have more questions. Brooklyn Cromer, Fox Carolina News.